All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of the Florencio Files as we continue taking you on a sewer mermaid's journey of going from being a just unashamed, filthy Protoss cheeser to learning how to be a filthy cheeser with the other two races as well. And he's got his biggest test for him here because we're starting to finally get mirror matchup replays from him. And he sent us one or two previously before where it was like he'd build spines in their base and do a really cute rush and it was kind of great. Like the one where he wedged the spines in between the hatchery. Very cool. But let's be real. Mirror matchups take a lot more detail, a lot more focus than the other ones. And so they usually are the ones where a crazy cheesy player, I mean, he's going to have a few very simple all-ins and not much else. But a little birdie tells me he's started to figure it out a little bit and he's become a bit more evolved. So let's see what he's got in store as we've got two back-to-back -back games in this episode. In the top right, in the red, it's Florencio. He's gone for a spawning pool first and it appears he wants to block his opponent's expansion. However, his opponent has actually gone a very fast pool and gas. Appears to be doing some sort of very early all-in. In the bottom left, it is Mr. Korea. Don't, don't know what that name is. We're going with Mr. Korea. So Florencio, of course, says, well, if you're one basing me, I don't see a hatchery. Not even an attempt to take one. He's going to see these Zerglings coming out as well. He goes for a macro hatch, a spine crawler, a second spine. He's only got 14 drones. I swear he could be doing all this and have like 19 drones by now, surely. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Florencio things, man. He's going to have good production, though. As Zerglings coming on across. There's a Banelings nest as well, but there's no more Zerglings. Is he just going to make, like, six Banelings and crash them in? Oh, my God. This is a six... This is what we call a six Baneling YOLO. This here is, like, the true connoisseur move. You know, this is this is super duper not... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he sees the spine. Another one's finishing. He's going to get out. Going to get out. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going to morph in. Morph in the corner. Oh, my God. He's going to morph. Okay, Mr. Korea is a dirty boy. Now, he just made a lair, so he can't quite make five. Only three banelings. And Florencio finds this. And that is he going to try and lure them into this? Oh, an Evo chamber. I like it. Meanwhile, Florencio going for a base in the top left corner. These banelings say, my life. For many drones and they go in and they're like oh there's an evo block now they could go around and try to go through do, 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 and go through there oh look he's gonna send the ling in front to tank but flo says hey take our allies take us don't take our friends these drones ready to throw their throw themselves oh okay one baneling comes in but only damages one drone there's still two left what's he trying to what does he think he's doing what is this player doing why was he sending them in one at a time it's the dumbest shit i've ever seen Oh, 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 it's amazing. All right, so he's making another Baneling, but he's just sitting there. What are we, huh? Okay, so he's going to go take and expand. <laughs> the drone is still there. Okay, please tell me Florencio Micro is and blocks it. This is so funny. He just blocked the dude's expansion at three minutes and 20 with a drone that's been waiting here for like three minutes. That is insane. He's building another spine on one base. Flo's like, dude, this guy hasn't expanded. I gotta be safe. I gotta, I gotta mass spine crawler. He's got a quarter base. He's starting to drone there. What is this? I, okay, at this point, they both think the other guy's on one base, but only one of them's correct. Florencio blocking the expert. It's on hold position. This drone's like, no, nah, this is my seat. Piss off, mate. Piss off. This is my, this is my house, man. He's just gonna block it. But the other guy thinks he's on one base. Flo's not. Now, that being said, Flo kind of is because he hasn't even set a waypoint or used the lava there. He's too busy microing his drone around going, nah, 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 blocking the hatchery. And he's... What's the next? <laughs> now he's killing the Eva. <laughs> oh my God, friendly fire. He's like, you're blocking my mining, dude. Get out. Oh my God, takes down his Evo chamber. And he might be in trouble. There's a spire on the way, guys. I mean, his opponent, Mr. Korea, might only be on one base. But he's mining a lot of gas. He's going for muters right now. So I think Mr. Korea is saying, look, you're only on one base. I, I don't know what you're doing in there. But mass spine crawler on one base seems pretty bad. None of that shoots up. I'm going to go one and a half base muter. I should be winning. But little does he know that. Why have we got another spine here? It's a hidden base. Oh, my God. It, it's such beautiful nonsense. I, I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. He's droning, though. Finally, finally. Florencio hits that drone key in the midst of this. He does start a lair up in the main as well. 
And he's got the drones building. Spire on the way, though. How many muters will he be able to afford? Four? Maybe maybe four or four. like five soon after that, potentially. But not droning at all. Mr. Korea's economy. He's building a third queen. So Mr. Korea's economy management can best be described. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say, like, it's not... So, he doesn't really beat his child. Like, if his economy was his child, I'd say Mr. Korea... It's, it's not like, oh, there's some serious abuse going on. It's just, you know... He just kind of like sits, gives it an iPad and then goes and, you know, shoots up some sort of narcotic. You know, like, it's, it's negligence, you know, it's a neg, it's negligent economy. It's, he's not killing his own guys. It's the only compliment I could give his economy management right now. Florencio on the other end, he's taking a third gas, guys. He's building some workers, isn't he? And I think his opponent, honestly, is still so confused because he's got to think he's winning. This is just one of those things where you're like, yeah, I mean, well, my opponent's still stuck on one base. Like, I, I got this. The classic mind game. I feel like if there is one lord, one god, one deity that Florencio prays to, it is the lord of please don't look in the corner. He really is kind of like a boogeyman, right? He's like, don't don't look under the bed, right? Because if you look under the bed, yeah, there's a monster under the bed. No, don't look, don't look, you know? It's like, no, 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 there actually is but <laughs> if you find him in that corner under the bed, you're going to realize he's not that powerful. <laughs> oh my God, coming in this mass spore in one base here. So Florencio has just, just turtled up. He's, he's, got, he's going for burrow, burrow move and roach speed off double roach ward. And he's going to try and go for burrow roaches. I like it. So his opponents droned up a little bit here, but still only a little bit. He's... Nine more drones, though, that's going to give him a big economy lead. The only problem he has is if he doesn't realize that there's burrowed roaches and he's just relying on muters for map control, then he's in trouble. He does go a roach run behind this, which is always going to be good. Swapping into roaches behind the mute is going to be very effective. But tunneling claws is about to kick in in five seconds, as is roach speed. Roaches are going to pop here. He doesn't want to give away that he's building roaches with burrow, though. Oh, the spikes just popped out on the back of those roaches now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hazard a guess and say Mr. Korea didn't notice the graphic change on those roaches. For those that don't know, there's a visual spikes on the back of those roaches tells you they have the burrow move upgrade. He can't see them now though. They're burrowed. They go right past him. There is a little, little animation you can see. You can kind of see this little, little disturbed dirt trail. Oh no, Mr. Korea! He loses a second muta, a third muta, Mr. Korea, and now an overseer arrives. But the roaches have already gone across the map. Like, he's building some of his own roaches. He's building eight roaches. But if he, if he goes home and makes an overseer, he'll be good. What is he doing? No, 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 there's spores. You can't do nothing there, Mr. Korea. Go home, mate. What's he... Why is he setting up in pervert mode? Oh, my God. It's an eyeball erection for that overseer. As it sets up in pervert mode, sticks this big eyeball testicle thing out of its head and starts having a good perv. The roach is coming in for flow. He's got no idea. All you see is that little... You see the dirt whenever they're moving? There's like, oh, there they go. He pops up from beneath you. He devours. And Florencio's eight minute, I'm on totally on one base gambit has paid off. The, the fake one base gambit pays off. The Mermaid's Gambit. It's the name of this uh, Zerg vs. Zerg TV series. So I think I'm starting to see where Florencio's Zerg vs. Zerg comes together as he runs into the main. It's all about convincing your opponent that you're just on one base which is most of his Protoss games as well, and his Terran games, isn't it? Uh, but, but, do that, and then sneak in with Burrow Roaches. I like it. There's a second wave of douchebaggery, and he focus-fired the drones during that, which was really cool. So he's, he's got his opponent down to 10. Now, Mr. Korea's on three bases, though. So if Mr. Korea rebuilds his drones, if he pulls off the gas, goes on minerals, which he's doing now, he could totally rebuild. Remember, he's still got muters for air control. And what's Flo got, really? He's got 26 drones. He's massing spine crawlers. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is he... I guess he, he doesn't feel confident in his roaches. His roaches have, like, the, the roach bar upgrade and stuff. I thought he'd use those. That's more than... That's enough roaches to just run in and kill. If he just runs in and shoots the spines one at a time, he can kill them, though. Ah, the muters. Oh, my God. He's running the muters into the spores. Okay, he gets one spine. He should click this one that's building. Oh, he's, he's trying to do some fancy micro. In and out. Wait, wait. No. Okay, just, just go to the other base. That one has too many spines. 
Okay, no, he's going to go into it. Okay, he takes out another... Sp oh, no, no. He's, is, he, is he doing it or not? Okay. All right. So, oh, my God. Second eyeball testicle uh, perversion thing. I don't know. What, what do you even call this? It really is look like a little testy sack that pops out of their head that for some reason has eyeballs on it. It's very confusing. Uh, Zerg Anatomy once again befuddles me. And he, yeah, he can overwhelm, as I thought. He does have enough to overwhelm this. These roaches on the bottom not helping. That one vomiting on the hatchery. He's got to kill the spine and the drones here. But his roaches are kind of just screwing around right now. Mr. Korea is only building roaches. He's not droning behind this. If he was building drones right now, he'd be good. But Florencio has actually made his own swap into muters with the superior economy. And these muters are taking out his roaches. Mr. Korea needs to kill this hatchery and get home. He needs to get out of there. But there's already muters on his side of the map as well. And he's, oh, he's full energy queen. Out in the open with no spores. She goes down. The roach ravager, actually, he flies the muters past that. I guess, I guess flows. Oh, no, 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 don't go for the spore. Don't do that. Actually, wait, wait, wait. It's the only anti air, so I guess he wins if he kills the spore. One muter goes down. Two muters go down. Three muters fall, but you know what? Now there's nothing that shoots up and these muters reign supreme. The droning for Mr. Korea a little bit too slow. As Florencio's muters and roaches absolutely tear it up. Drones do burrow in the top left to save their lives temporarily as well. Good use of that burrow as the muters take everything out. There's a few spores trying to build. Mr. Korea's like, what the hell? How long was that base up in the corner? How long? The start of the game, buddy. The start of the game. You got to build some workers. No, GG. All right, and straight into the second map here of Florencio's new Zerg versus Zerg. Let's see what he's got in store for us down here in the bottom right hand side in the blue. It is the one and only Florencio. And this early drone seems to be a key part of the build. He wants to go, see if he's getting attacked at all, and potentially block his opponent's expand. Now, he needs to get there before about 50, 52 seconds at the absolute latest. About 48 seconds is, is the earliest a 16 hatch can go down, and yeah, it looks like this player is going for that. But no, 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 he's going to go for a 17 hatch. That'll be about 52 seconds, and Flo, I think he gets there in time. Looks like it. He gets there. Block, 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 block. Oh, just in time, and... Uh, Mr. Srisco here. Ix Ix Ixisco? Lix... Ix Ix okay, I don't know what that is. Spawning pool goes down, but he's already at 400 minerals when he puts it down, so a very late spawning pool. He's going to send a drone to scout as well. Florencio this time going immediately for the hidden base. Much quicker. So this is a little bit more of a, a refined version, I think. And I think it's partially because he's not as afraid. Remember in that last game, he saw an earlier pool and gas and he was a little bit worried. Took him a while to transition. It did. It worked out okay. But I think we're going to see a more streamlined version of the build. As his drone comes home, he saw the pool and gas. He said, yeah, okay, I'll let you take the hatch now. And whoa, 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 whoa. Prompting his opponent to block his expand with a hatch. Oh my god, he's like, if I'm on one base, you're on one base. And Fuller has a corner base again. Oh. This is such a useless move. Oh no, poor Srisco, mate. So Srisco's building two lings, building a queen. He could build a roach warren or something and try to build some roaches there, but I doubt that's going to work. Does Flo know about this? He does. He still opts for a macro hatch. I think Florencio, Florencio wise enough to realize early that he's not going to be landing too many of his lava injects because he likes staring at his micro. So he's going to go for the two spine crawlers wedged in there. He loves this little choke point where the spines create like a nice little turret ring almost. Um, little, little, little defensive wedge. And then he's got an, a third spine. He's saying full minerals for now is Florencio. He's got his corner base up. I wonder if he has the balls to drone during this. His opponent's going a spine as well. What is with this spine on one base shenanigans? Uh, a Roach Warren does go down. And a second gas, though. So Srisco is going to get aggressive with this for sure. So this is going to finish. We're going to see that Roach Warren finish soon. Roach is going to start to come out. Flo does not have any ability to build his own Roaches. So if you think about it, Ravages, especially if this Overlord comes in and spots the high ground, he can just bile down these spine crawlers from afar if he gets a few Ravages. We'll see if that's what Srisco wants to do as the first two roaches start up. Flo trying to go for double gas. He's getting a few drones and a single spine crawler at the expand as well. Oh, man. This is going to get so weird because, I mean, Flo does have the superior economy by three workers here. He was very slow at droning the previous game. But a few more drones are coming out for Srisco. So Srisco will be able to expand behind this. 
And Swissco could maybe just pick away. Now, Flo is going to bring a drone. Wait, why would you build a spine? <laughs> move that, those spines down, silly. Move these two spines down. If you're going to move... Okay, so he's trying to make sure he doesn't, like, run all the spines down and get jumped on by a surprising number of units and then lose. But because of this, it means that the Ravagers can kind of just fight one at a time. Don't, 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 don't fight it! Srisco, what are you doing, mate? Oh my god, that Ravager. Dude, 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 get out! Get out of there! That's a dangerous addiction to hentai. There's only so many tentacles one little Ravager can handle. That Ravager's already almost dead. Does pull back to the high ground, lures into his mate. So the, the, the spine crawler bait there, very nice. Oh, does he get it? Does he get it? Not quite. Two hit point, Roach. Oh, the slow Zerglings. <laughs> okay, slow Zerglings is just not meant to ever kill anything. There are a few feelings worse than someone killing your very expensive 100 gas ravages with a handful of slow zerglings. You you feel like a right a right dunce. You feel like an absolute dummy. The roach ravages. Oh, okay. The zerglings come back in this time. I think the roach ravage is going to be fine. Nice micro base risk. Pull back to the choke. The ravage is surrounded. Pull pull in. Oh my god. The roaches all pulled to safety and left the ravager to die. Jealous of their fiery cousin. I think. Flo's droned up a fair bit. He's got his own Rotoran now as well. He's still building just Zerglings, though. I think he doesn't realize his Rotoran's finished. That Roach... No! Okay, this this, this, this hentai action's getting out of control. He's still building Ravages here, though. Srisco, it's a lost cause. Go drone up. You're fine at home. You can just inject these hatcheries, drone... Uh, you, I mean, surely he thinks Florencio's on one base. Oh, he joins with the Broodlings. He's actually going to kill a spine crawler there. Can he kill the slow Zerglings? That, oh, nice positioning again. One Roach does get surrounded. There's a drone there that isn't even fighting. He's just trying to survive. The Roach Ravager, though, is going to kill all of these Zerglings. That drone does go down to the Zerglings. This is so inefficient for Flo. Even though the early trades were so good killing the Ravagers with the slow Zerglings, it's gotten really bad. He's building more spines! <laughs> Flo, you held this like an hour ago, dude. You've got a roach roach up. Build some roaches, bro. Oh my god, Flo CBZ. Alright, so, so there is a pattern. Let's hide a base, build a shitload of spine crawlers, and then just dance in chaos with your opponents while they think they're two base first one. Baneling nest for Swiss. Interesting. What, what we're already. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, interesting. I'm like. No, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. It makes no sense to go a bailing nest. <laughs> You've already got roaches. Why would we go back to bailings? <laughs> They're a more basic unit. He's like, wow, this guy's making mass zerglings here. Slow zerglings. I'm like, whoa, what? And he's like, yeah. I don't know. It's. Hey, it takes out a spine. Not bad. I, I, I would liken it to basically you've just figured out gunpowder and you're like, yeah, but. They ain't wearing armor. And you're like, what? That, yeah, that's fine. It doesn't matter. We got gunpowder anyway. We got like muskets and shit. And they're like, yeah. feel like we need arrows. Why? It's like, ah, oh, one of them has a shield. And you're like, that doesn't stop the musket blast. And you're like, I know. I think we need maybe some padded armor as well to stop their gun. You're like, what are we talking about? Why are we going backwards in tech? What are you doing? So we've got a lair. He is droning up, so he's got a pretty good economy advantage. Four workers. But he doesn't know about the expansion, and that's the problem. I don't know how this container is still going. Florencio finally comes out of the floodgates. He says, get out of my base. Ten roaches are going to run down here, and he's going to vomit all over those ravages. These roaches say, you think you're so fancy with this stupid fire on your back? Seriously, like, like you, you don't think that's a joke? You think you're better than us because you have a fucking campfire on your back? Seriously, I mean, we're clearly the superior design. People say the Ravager is the next evolution. Mate, mate, we have weaponized vomit. We just vomit on people. It's both degrading, disgusting, and effective at the same time. The Ravager, on the other hand, it's literally just a fucking obese roach, hasn't been on a treadmill, hasn't been on the diet in literally forever, who happens to have a fucking campfire on his back that he can kind of fucking propel at people. It's, it's stupid. It's a dumb unit. It's poor design. I agree with you, Mr. Roach. That's a very astute observation. You know, it's not very astute making banelings to defend the roach. What? <laughs> I just can't get over these banelings. 
Uh, Srisco here does have three spines, though, so it should be rocks. Oh, no, no. Florencio was mining four gases this entire time. That's a lot of ravages. Oh, my God. He's going to bile down these spines. They're like eight, spine, eight, eight, eight corrosive biles on one spine crawler. Uh, he's, he's throwing them out. Okay, pulls back for a moment. Waits for the corrosive bile to be ready. Oh, he's going to take out the eggs. Oh, he does four corrosive biles and kills three of the building roaches. That was sick. Okay, he's going to take out the other spine crawler as well. Florencio here becoming a connoisseur of the Ravages. The Roaches and Banes unable to defend. Oh, 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 almost walks into his own corrosive bile. The drone's being pulled up to the main base. Srisco's in trouble right now. Srisco's going to come down the ramp. He's going to try. Oh, the Banelings getting a few decent hits on these Ravages. Oh, big Biles landing though. Oh, oh my God. Did you see that? That drone just got split into three different separate chunks. Oh my God. I didn't even know that could happen. That was beautiful. That corrosive bile literally split a drone in three chunks. Who's shit talking ravages now? Every one of those roaches turned into a roach. <laughs> it's like someone complaining when Facebook, any social media site, changes their bloody interface. We all go, oh, it's so bad. Turn it back. A week later, we're like, yeah, I'm used to it. It's pretty good. Every single time. We're like, oh my God. We're always so offended when anyone changes their UI, their interface. And then as soon as we get used to it, we're like, eh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's all right. I should have given it a go. And that basically is these roaches that have all now turned into ravages and done crazy damage. Was going for the eggs again there, but it's already done great damage. He's going to pull back. Of course, guys, keep in mind, Florencio went up to three bases behind this. His macro has been n non-existent. He, he did zero macro during any, any of that. There was no production at all. No injects. It's Florencio. Don't worry. His opponent still has a chance. Yeah, he's, he's actually got the upgrade advantage. He's going to have plus one range. I'm like, I'm like, no, nah, he doesn't, does he? No, he actually, he does. It's a very small chance. He needs to redraw that mineral line post haste. But, uh... So he's like, man, why do I have so much money with this race? I should build some more macro hatcheries. <laughs> and I like how he always builds them with a two-space gap so we could put spines there as well. He, he's obsessed with having this corridor to put spine crawlers in. Oh my god, it's great. So he's going burrow. He's building a second Roach Warren, which isn't going to finish until Roach Speed is done. But I'm pretty sure Florencio, he believes in exclusive uh, in exclusivity. He's like, no, no, no. This one's married to Roach Speed. Look at it. Look at him. You see the Roach? He's trying to get speedy. Look at him. He's poking his head in and out. He's practicing. He says, I want to be a fast Roach. i got to practice going my head in and then out. And then in, and then out. I'm going to be a speed roach. Now, there's just roach over here. He's not actually poking his head in and out as much, you'll notice. Why? Because he's going up and down, up and down. He's trying to figure out how to do the burrow movement. So, the ex exclusivity. Speed roach upgrade there on the right. Burrow move roach on the left. And even though he could have just done one after the other on the same roach one, and it would have finished at the exact same time. What can I say? Um, that's the only voice that I can use to describe Florencio's inner thought process because when he does things like that, I think that's just it. I think there's a very loud voice shouting uh, when everything could be communicated in, you know, room volume, you know, room volume. It's like room temperature. Yeah, room volume. You guys don't know room volume? It's like, it's basically, it's just, you know, the, the volume that you're accepted to speak out in a room. When someone gets on a train or a bus and they got their little speakers playing their Bluetooth music really loud, that's not. That's above. That's above room volume. That's unacceptable. It's, it's fucking bad mannered. You're a piece of shit if you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, guys. It's called earphones. It's this crazy invention they made like 50 years ago and you can put them in your ear so other people don't have to hear your terrible taste in music. You should all try it out sometime if you haven't already. And uh, these ravages uh, trying to hide underground somehow... If we go to Srisco's vision, he actually couldn't see those at all. You can't even see those little campfires. Bit surprising. I'm not, I'm not sure how the fire doesn't go out when they're underground, to be honest. The Ravager is a very confusing unit, mate. Very confusing. He does have a little campfire on their back, though. Uh, the Burrow Roach attack is getting ready now. Funnily enough, Srisco is also going for Burrow Roach. He's like, this is it, man. This is it. I, I, I mean, his expansion. Oh, Srisco actually thinks he's still in this game. He thought that was all off one base before. Oh my god, because he sees no drones on the natural. So he's like, oh, yeah, I think I'm good, man. He's setting his... Oh, okay, the sharks. Sharks going out, but that is a lot of sharks for Florencia. Almost identical roach counts right now. 
Oh my god, he's going to send roaches. The problem is, Flo is building like four spines at base, so I don't see how Roach is going to do literally anything. Srisco comes in, but the... Oh, Srisco's actually got three spines in this fight. He's dropping Biles on the middle of Flo's roaches as well. Can he hang on? Good Biles so far. Flo target fires that Ravager, though. Two more Ravagers. They've got to fire. They need to fire more Biles. Oh, does he have enough? That spine won't quite finish. I think he can hang on here. His roaches on Burrow, though, and they are getting dicked. Oh, these, these four in the back of the natural will do damage, as will those ones in the main. Back at home. Can Srisco hang on? Srisco's still in this. He's still in this with a fighting chance right now. He defends. He hangs on. He's only down a couple of workers right now, and he's not done with his roaches on the other side now. These roaches need to be microed. He's killing a few more drones here, but Florencio wisely running his drones away. Crisco's... Oh, Srisco's... Srisco, Crisco. I don't know what his name is, guys. Who cares? Have you, you read that shit? It's subscribe logo below. No, shut the stupidest name I've ever in my life, all right? Sorisco. So Sorisco, which is an absolute nightmare to say fast. Um, yeah, he hold he, he he holds at home, but he doesn't do as much damage as he would have liked. And uh oh. He's got four more roaches that came from. Flo is out macro again. Flo's got a top base as well. So this is the problem. So Sorisco finally is aware of this base over here on the right, right? But he's, he's just so far behind on the economy. Burrow, get out of there, Burrow. Get out of there. Run. Run, run, run. Okay, Srisco's trying to trying to take the fight here. Roach versus Roach. But I actually think he's outnumbered. Oh, the Biles. Okay, good move forward by Srisco. Avoids most of those Biles. He's taking them all down. Oh, he's actually doing okay here. But another wave of Biles. And those ones land. They take the enemy Ravager out. Florencio, I think he's just got enough to hang on here. Just, yeah, especially with his units reinforcing just from the right base. But so close to this. And Florencio is on four hatchet. Oh, sorry, four bases, six hatcheries up against the single hatchery and single lair of Srisco. So Srisco's production is just not quite there. So I think at this point, the income, the income should be going in Flo's fate. How is it not? I guess he's just got way too much gas mining, right? But he's got a spire up. He can go muters at any point, and there's nothing that shoots up for Srisco. Srisco is trying to go out with more burrowed roaches. There is a Zergling in here. He's pretending he's... Oh, I'm one of the boys. Yep, just hanging out. I'm one of the boys. Yep, I'm a, uh, I'm a real roach. I'm definitely a... Fl I'm, I'm a Florencio roach. Ha ha. I like, like doing cheesy builds. Uh -huh. uh, I like living in the sewers. Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. Sewers. Ha ha ha. The roaches are like, you're fucking... Are you, are you for fucking real? You think you can just say random sewer words and pretend you're one of us? They do turn and fucking chop his head off. That's what happens. Snitches get stitches, mate. And uh, that is, I mean, that's what you're signing up for. If you're a changeling, that's that's pretty bad, man. That's uh, that's pretty bad. You know, it's it's like being an informant in the prison. It's not a not a good. If people find out, man, you don't blend in well enough. They they will take you out. Now these roaches running around. Oh, is there an overseer? It's a bit behind. It's a bit behind for Florencio. But if it comes up. I think Flo sees that. Oh, there's too many roaches together. It's too obvious. But you got that many roaches in a ball. The graphic actually, there's so much dirt getting kicked up that it actually becomes kind of obvious. Right now, there is a roach advantage for Srisco. He's got a plus one attack advantage. He could win this fight. Florencio, though, runs forward. He's sharking around going, oh, fear me. Fear me. Meanwhile, Florencio, I'm pretty sure a bit of turgidity is happening. I'm just saying blood's flowing to a certain area of his body. And yes, you guessed right, it's his mutilisk. That's right, his his mutilisk. He's a bit oh, it's it's in, that's a oh my god, that's a lot of 19. He's going up to 27 mutilisks. He's like, hmm, I wonder if this will win me the game. Yes, the guy didn't you know you have an expansion for like 15 minutes, mate. Oh, the is he, is he gonna lose all of his muters to corrosive bile? He's just sitting in it. Florencio! Oh my god! Harking back to the first ever episode when he lost four immortals and four void rays to a to corrosive bile one at a time. He has found a way to get mutilisks hit by corrosive bile. You guys might not understand. If you don't play a lot of StarCraft and you just watch most of it, you might not realize that spell has the smallest area effect ever, and the muter is a very nimble small unit. You need to try to get hit by that many corrosive biles, and somehow, some way, Florencio <laughs> finds a way to do it. Okay, guys. So, I think we can. I think we can pause that one there, as we do. Say, I think we've learned a lot about Florencio Zerg versus Zerg. It involves corner bases. It involves macro hatcheries. Lots of spine crawlers. 
lots of burrow roaches and lots of muter swaps. And you know what? I think it's working. I think he's still a bit rough around the edges compared to what we see as he he's ironed out his Terran style over the last few months, right? We've seen him get a bit smoother with all little details. We saw him do that for years with Protoss. But it's good to see. You can see he's figuring out a matchup and one against his own race. Once he can beat his own race consistently and perform against them well, that's when I think he starts to evolve. Let's see what he's got. And I'm going to keep doing these rundowns as we figure out a build for a certain matchup. Grab a few different games, put them in one video. Hope you guys like this format of the Flow Files as we try something a little bit different. Big thanks, of course, to everyone on the Patreon. Max and Colonel SC and Pimp City, our biggest Patreon supporters up there. But if you guys do want to support this show uh, a little bit more than clicking, you know, clicking and watching on the ads and all that and spreading the videos around, please do check out the Patreon links below in the video description. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye and good night. Bye -bye.